Hey guys, it's Natalia here. I'm here today with the February Her Fashion Box. So this is the third time I filmed this, and to be perfectly honest, I am so over it. It's not funny. Um, the first time I filmed it, I realized that one of my kids had touched the lens of my camera, so there was a big smudge all through the middle. And then as I was filming my third video of the day, um, I my camera was saying, out of memory, out of memory, so I went to delete some stuff, and I deleted everything that I filmed today. So. I was not impressed with that. So this is the third time I have filmed the opening of the January, February Her Fashion Box. It's not really new to me so I'm gonna <laughs> just show you what is in there. The box came in this one. This is actually a lot smaller than the usual one. The usual ones are fairly large. Um, we did get an email this afternoon explaining that the reason it is actually so small is because the items in here are just of smaller size and to have the bigger box it would either have a chance of the items getting damaged in transit and you don't really need a really big box to fit some small things in otherwise it would kind of look kind of empty and then whatever. So that's the reason for the smaller box. It was just purely for this month and for whatever's in this box. Got no problems with it. I like it. Still got everything that I want in there so no complaints from me. So, so it came in this, it also was wrapped in like a satchel. There was the Her Fashion Box magazine and there was also a um, March issue of Shop To You Drop which is really cool because I actually really really like this magazine. I've already flicked through it and there's a lot of things in here that I feel like I need to have in my life so I probably should put it down before I go and buy anything. And then you have got the um, Her Fashion Box magazine which tells you a bit about everything that's in there and on the back page of the um, magazine is some Instagram photos that they just select from the month previous and they just sort of feature it in the back page. Tina from Penumbra Doll, your photo's in there, hooray! That necklace you got actually looks really, really good on her. Melissa Bubbles, your smoothie photo's in there, which is really cool to see. And Renee from Nay's Place, you got the necklace and also your opening, so you got two photos in there, so awesome. Yay! So, that was the magazine, and now into the box. As I said, it's a smaller one. If you, did, if you do subscribe and you are thinking about getting the box set, I'm pretty sure this is the size of box that you'll get. It's much more along the lines of the Lust Habit Bella box, whereas the full-size box is normally, usually the bigger box, except for this month. I've got the feminine box, so I've got the pink tissue paper as always. First, I have got this Miraness lip gloss. This is the lip balm number 17. It comes with a few vouchers and stuff. I've actually had vouchers for Miraness before and I went to claim the thing that they said I could claim and I couldn't actually claim it so I kind of don't bother with their vouchers um, to be honest. Number 17 and this is sort of like a nudey pinky kind of shade with a gold sort of say duochrome kind of flex through it. It's got like a wand that looks like that. It's sort of like a figure eight wand but also seems like it's sort of twisted as well. Maybe not. I don't know, it's one of those unusual lip gloss ones. Excuse me, I'm also coming down with a cold as well. So today, I just, I want today to be over, to be perfectly honest. So I've got this, this is the Glossy Lacquer Stain, and I'm not going to swatch it. I've seen a few picked people talk about this, and they actually seem really, really pigmented. But I'm probably not going to get used to that, I might pass it on to someone who will get more use out of it. Um, but that's from Miraness. The next thing I've got here is the Bondi Sand Summer Bronze Instant Tan. Now I have got... A bottle of their self tanning mousse which I love this is like the gradual tanner the one that actually develops on your skin you put this on leave it on for an hour or two hours however many hours you want then wash it off and your skin will continue to develop into a darker tan this one isn't like that this one is actually just a wash off tan ultra fine mist flawless finish um, I'm gonna give it a go oh, shit. okay Wow, okay, this is going to need some work. I probably really shouldn't have done that. Oh well. It has a kind of a coconutty smell to it. Um, once you rub it in, it's actually not too bad. But there you go. That's what happens when you product test on the camera. Okay, the next thing I've got here is a Ritual Vanilla... Um, perfume it's kind of like a handbag size it's not a rollerball it is a spray on perfume this is a vanilla scent and oh my god this smells so good I really like this one I'm gonna it's very very vanilla -y. I think it would be really good for the colder months to be honest because I find vanilla to be like a really warming kind of scent nice. and urban ritual is the brand that I've got a few things from in the her fashion box and 
they are really really good quality i love their moisturizers their body lotions are fantastic the lip gloss i got last time has been a staple this month it has been has not left my side and um now this and it is actually an australian company which i'm also really really happy about because it's always good for australian companies to be featured in boxes i think and um this is a good one i'm really really liking that so the next thing i've got here um another thing i'm really excited about these are a pair of shadow shields now shadow shields are these kind of crescent shaped mm. sticky on -y things that you would put underneath the eye to collect fallout. So you got two shadow shields which is really fantastic to try them out. They're quite affordable as well. You get a box of 30 of them for $9.95 and they're available from Lipstick Republic and it's got their website right here so I'm really excited about that because you all know by now Lipstick Republic is one of my favourite online stores in the whole history of the world. They sell the best makeup, customer service is fantastic and I just love them. So really happy to see that they've um, teamed up and put some shadow shields in here for you to try. If you are Makeup artist shadow shields are really really fantastic for your kit. If you are also someone who does lots of dark smoky eyes, loves black intense makeup, but do get or use a lot of glitter, shadow shields will also be your best friend as well. So well well worth checking out. I've done a full review of shadow shields. I'm going to link that below if you are at all interested to go and check that one out. So I'm really happy to get that in my box. Sorry, another plane. Just I've, one thing I've worked out about the plane situation. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I quite often get planes going over our house because we are so close to the airport. I've actually found out recently that the planes, because Sydney Airport is so close to residential areas, um, flight path changes every hour so that all the different suburbs around the area seem to get the sort of the same evenness of aircraft noise. Unfortunately for me, our flight route is between... I think it's between like 2 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which is quite often the times that I'm filming the most because that's when my kids are asleep and that's the one time of the day I film, or right now because that's like the third one I've had in the last 10 minutes, um, which is another time that I do come and film. So I've worked that out. So um, yeah, a little bit of information about the um, Sydney flight paths. The next thing I've got here is another thing I'm really happy about. This is the Chapstick Day and Night 24 Hour Moisture Lip Product. There's two of them in here. The green one is for the daytime, it's got SPF 15, and the night one is a night repair lip treatment. Lip um, balms and lip glosses and lip anything moisturizingness has been my best friend for these last two or three weeks. I've just been really run down. My skin has just gone crazy dry, including my lips. And so the one thing I've been using a lot is um, lip moisturizing products. I'm really excited, interested to try out this night repair one purely because I just, oh, my lips are just so whatever I don't know but yeah really happy to get that perfect for right now especially as we're changing into the season it's now going to be autumn in the next couple of days and um, yeah my skin will get even drier so the next thing I've got here are two fashion accessories as I said this is the third time I filmed this I got these out and I actually wore these this afternoon and I really really like so the first thing we've got here is these three little bracelets and these are all kind of stacking bracelets. Like I said, I have worn them today. This is the feminine one. They are three colours, the white, the pink and the yellow and they've both got that little small bow detailing on it. It is gold. I'm not a big fan of gold jewellery but I actually don't mind this one because it's not all gold. Like it's got the coloured and it's just the um, bows that are gold and I really like that. I wore these today. These ones fit me with plenty of room to spare. Wow, I just dropped it. And the next thing we've got here is this um, kind of tiered necklace which looks like this. It is pink and gold and I actually really like that colour combination together. Again, the gold's not too gold that it's going to annoy me. It's not like all gold. I wouldn't wear that one. But I really do like the touch of the pink and the gold here. Again, it's not something that I would go out and buy myself because if I saw it in the shop, I'd be like, yeah, I don't know about that. But now that I've been given it and I put it on, I would wear it. I wear it. I have worn it. And it's just a bit of fun, to be honest. I really like it. So they are the fashion accessories and that is the wrap up of the box for this month it was a little bit late this month um, I'm not too sure why that would be it would be good if they could try to get them out a little bit earlier next month but considering this is my only subscription box that I'm getting these days um, it really doesn't bother me to be honest I can understand that a few people might want it to be earlier as long as it gets here I really don't mind um, but yeah 
that is the contents of the February Her Fashion Box. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any comments or questions, leave in the comment bar below. If you are interested in subscribing, it's $39.95 a month. And um, you have a choice of classic, feminine, and trendy. And as I said, this is the feminine box. I'm going to go now, try to get this edited and up tonight. So I will talk to you soon. Bye.